Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob, and this is a how-to video for replacing the toilet seals on a Thetford RV style toilet. All right, let's get into it. Here's a list of materials and tools you will need to complete this project. Okay, definitely want my towel ready because I want to plug the hole going down to the black tank to keep some of the sewer gas smells out of here. I also want to leave enough towel to set the toilet on itself since we'll be lifting it up off. I'm just going to lift it straight up so I don't move my bolts here. Straight up as I could. All right, plug the hole. Hurry up! Stinky? Yeah, there's a little bit of smell, but not too bad. And then on the back side here, that's where I'm going to unbolt it. These two bolts here to undo the bowl from the vertical base. What size is it? Three eighths. This one's three eighths. It might be easier with the socket though. Just get it loose enough and then twist it out. I think this basin is really porcelain. Feels like it. Why do you have your safety glasses on? <sighs> yeah, just in case. Don't, Don't want to give yourself pink eye. Yeah. angle yeah doing it all to show you guys all for you just kidding it's up for us too see these in here these tabs you have to twist it counterclockwise from the base to get it off Connected. Oh man. Oh no. Oh no, what? I spilled some water. It's okay. Okay. And here is our seal. Okay, so I had Stasha get me some olive oil. I just want to use a natural oil and just have a little bit in this cup so I can dip my finger in there and I want to condition this. Uh, seal so that it can keep the water out. So I just want to coat it down completely so that way it just keeps the longevity of it and make sure it keeps the toilet sealed like it should. So just dip your finger in and just spread it around on there evenly. You don't want to go too heavy, just get it covered in enough oil that it looks like it's oiled up and ready. Oh, that's easy. I'm going to clean this out and I'm just going to use a baby wipe. That way it's a little bit easier than Clorox. You don't want to use any kind of Clorox or bleach because it will destroy these seals. Even maybe just a towel or a paper towel would work too. I'm just going to clean this up, get some of this gunk out of here before I place my new seal in. All right. Just set the seal in there just like that. This thing is porcelain, it's freaking heavy. Oh. What? We definitely need to wipe that down. Yeah, that's okay. Should we wipe the bottom of this off? I don't know. 
But remember, you have to twist clockwise now. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it lined up first. Are you putting your mouth on it? Well, not meaning to. I'm trying to look. I'm trying to look and see if I'm blind. I think it's lined up. Oh no. No, the screw holes on the back part. Oh. No, I think they are. Definitely porcelain. Yeah. I didn't expect the back of the toilet to look like that. I didn't either. Before we get this all the way tightened, I just want to look and make sure the seal is sealed right. Looks like it's on there. Maybe we can center it up just a little bit. That's the old ring. And this one's a little different. And that seal looked just as worn. Probably best to replace both. Are you sure that's in there correctly? Yeah, I can tell it's seated on it. It's in on that side. Is it in on the other side? Yeah, it's in. I'm just making sure that the seal is sitting on the... I was going to say, could it be the seal? It's the new seal, probably. Yeah, it's definitely sitting on it. And I noticed the other one was really compressed into it, and so this just tells me, you know, really got to compress it down onto the new seal. Just making sure it's sitting on there right. Usually we have the toilet facing the sink. So that could be why. inch bolts bolt it back down to the floor and seal that new toilet seal down I to sit on it. there we go now I'm able to get it just has to be compressed. It's one of those compression type seals. Oh, 
Okay, you'll notice as you're tightening the toilet, it'll lower down onto it. So don't be worried if it seems like it's kind of bouncing around because as we've tightened it down, it's came down on that seal and compressed it to the floor like it's supposed to, to keep those smells out. I'm getting really close to being tightened all the way. You want to just take it really slow, make sure not to over tighten it because you don't want to crack any of the plastic and break your toilet here. So just nice and easy as you see it, you know, compressed to the floor then just leave it be. That's as tight as we want to get it. But also make sure your toilet isn't rocking around. Right there, that's all you want. I want to just make sure. Yeah, it's solid. Okay, we can place the caps on these, or I can place the caps on these. Then we'll screw in the water supply. After you finish hooking everything up, turn the water on, step on the pedal, make sure it's still holding water, check on it occasionally, just make sure you got everything sealed back up or if there's any drips from your water supply. And it's pretty easy, it's really a quick fix, kind of a dirty job, but you know, and every once in a while it needs to be done. So thanks for watching this video, I've included the product links in the description below. And if you enjoyed it, smash down the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks for watching.